Hi, John from Diag Dynamics. Today we'll be installing our SS5 Stealth Grill Kit for the 2014 and up 5th Gen 4Runner. Now this kit's available in a two or four pod configuration with our driving or combo optic as well as a wider yellow output. Let's get started. To begin our installation, we'll pop the hood and grab a plastic trim removal tool to remove 13 push clips to take off this plastic cover over our radiator core support. Then we can remove our cover and remove six more plastic clips along the top of the grill. Next, we'll grab a 10 millimeter socket to remove one bolt on top holding the upper section of the grill on, and then we'll move underneath the vehicle to remove six more bolts along the bumper. While underneath the vehicle, go ahead and disconnect both your factory fog lights. Coming up to the passenger side fender well, we'll have three more 10 millimeter bolts to remove, as well as three more on the driver's side fender well. Next, if your vehicle was equipped with Toyota's Safety Sense feature as you see here, we'll need to disconnect it. You'll see the connector center behind the grill just a little bit underneath the hood latch. And then two more 10 millimeter bolts to remove on the other side of the connector that's secured to the vehicle. We're now ready to remove our bumper. Coming to the driver's side fender well, we'll be using a plastic trim removal tool to pry the bumper from the fender liner and then repeat the same steps on the passenger side of the vehicle. Before we completely remove the bumper, it may be a good time to grab a friend. However, this is completely manageable to do alone. You'll grab the outer edge of the bumper and pull it to release the tabs holding it to the fender and headlight. Then lift the bumper from the middle and pull it off of the vehicle. With our bumper removed, looking down at our crash bar, you'll notice six 14 millimeter bolts three in the passenger side and three in the driver's side. We'll be loosening the center 14 millimeter bolt so we can slide our bracket underneath. Then we'll take a trim removal tool and remove the push clip on this plastic panel from both sides of the vehicle. Taking our stealth bracket, we'll be sliding it underneath that 14 millimeter bolt that we loosened, making sure that the forked portion is facing towards the outside of the vehicle and the tab up top near the DD logo is facing towards the inside of the vehicle. 
Next, we can secure the top tab with the supplied MSEC screw, washer, and nut, leaving it hand tight for adjustment later, and then repeat the same steps on the other bracket. Now we can loosely secure our crossbeam to the fourth and fifth slot from the bottom on our stealth brackets using the included M6 hardware and assuring the curved portion is facing towards the inside of the vehicle. Before moving forward, we need to make sure that we tighten down all of our hardware with our brackets, starting with our cross beam, making sure it's level and centered with our stealth brackets. Then tighten both 14 mm bolts on the crash bar. It may be easier to use a wrench on the driver's side. Lastly, tighten the top self bracket hardware with a 3 16 Allen and a 10 mm socket. We're now ready to assemble our SS5s to our universal brackets. We'll first thread in our set screw on both sides on the bottom hole of our SS5s with the opened end of our set screw facing outward using a 2.5 millimeter Allen. We can then take our SS5 and slide it over our universal bracket and secure it using our four 532nd bolts and washers, leaving it only hand tight so we can leave room for adjustment later. With our pods assembled, we can now mount them to our crossbar. You'll notice on either side that there's three holes as well as a hole in the center. If you're installing our two-pod kit, we recommend using the second hole on our crossbar here. If you're installing our four-pod kit, we recommend using the first and third hole on both sides of our crossbar. Taking your SS5, you'll drop the supplied carriage bolt through the universal bracket and crossbeam, securing it with your washer, lock washer, and nut only hand tight. Now we're ready to route our wiring. Since this vehicle's already equipped with an aftermarket switch bank, we'll be removing the switch portion of our harness and installing our wire leads. If you don't have an aftermarket switch bank, you can keep the switch on. You'll just need to route it through the firewall into the cab to the location of your choice. Depending on your auxiliary power bank, you can simply crimp the two leads accordingly, or you can replace the buck connector with a fork terminal. It's important to note that the yellow wire will be used for the main LED power, and the blue wire will be used for the backlight LED power. We'll be taking a 10 millimeter socket and loosening the positive and negative terminal on our battery. Then we can take our red wire and connect it to our positive terminal and our black wire and connect it to our negative terminal and then tighten everything back down. Next, we'll be routing our DT connectors to our pods. Just make sure you keep away from any hot or moving parts. Today, we'll simply be routing ours behind the headlight, through this plastic piece, and then to the back of the pods. Next, we can plug our DT connectors into the back of our pods and make our final aiming adjustments. If you went with our four pod kit, you'll need to take the DT connector from the left and right side and plug in our splitters. Then you'll take those ends and plug them into the back of your pods. First, we'll make our left and right adjustments. And once we have that where we like, we can take a 13 millimeter wrench and tighten it down. Then we can make our up and down adjustments. And once we have it where we like, 
we can take a 5 30 seconds Allen key and tighten down our hardware. With everything installed, we can now secure any excess wiring up and out of the way from any hot or moving parts using zip ties, and then we can reinstall the bumper by reversing the steps we used to take it off. Not only are our SS5s the highest intensity 5-inch pod on the market, but whether you went with our 2 or 4 pod kit, you'll get an insane amount of added light output while off-roading. Along with that output, you'll get a backlight feature with 8 selectable color options. Our Stage Series pods were designed, tested, and assembled right here in St. Louis, Missouri with durability in mind and are backed by an 8-year warranty. If you're looking for an SS5 kit for your vehicle or any of our other products, visit our website at diodynamics.com or use our dealer locator tool to find a dealer near you. And if you want to stay up to date on any newer or future products, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching.